Good morning, vlog. It's been like two weeks since I last posted a video because I just needed to take time. And I did. I'm back. It's Tuesday, August 2nd. Happy August. Um, it's like 6.30. I'm making matcha. But today I'm going thrifting. That's my job now. But um right now I'm gonna do my depop like posts that I need to catch up on and answer emails. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, I got dressed. Um shirt is like this cool like embroidered piece that's thrifted. The shirt, a Depop, pants, dickies, and now I'm making breakfast in a rush, but it's important to eat before you thrift. That's like the main piece of advice, just because you will feel a lot better about yourself. Yeah, fuel up. That's my breakfast. It's just oats. Cashew yogurt, pineapple, mango, banana, cherries, chocolate covered chia seeds, um, almond slices, and dates, and coconut. So, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna dash. Okay, so my camera is not working right now for some bizarre reason. So, I am therefore back to phone vlogging. Which is really funny. Reminds me of the old days. But I literally just inhaled my breakfast. And now I'm going to the thrift store. So it opens at 9. Um, it is 8.42. Yeah. So I'll see you when I get there. I guess this is kind of better to film on my phone because then I can like, I don't have to lug the camera around even though the camera's really small. But I kind of had a thought when I was eating breakfast this morning and I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. So like, I don't like hang out with anyone ever and I don't have friends, but I like being alone. So I'm not lonely. Like I thoroughly enjoy my time with myself but I just don't have people in my life to spend it with and so that was really like an interesting realization to me because I'm like I'm so content right now and I feel like I haven't been able to say that in a really long time so that's really cool and I'm gonna drive now but I'll give you more updates later if I don't want to die anyways back to what I was saying I'm alone but I'm not lonely. Like this, like I'm spending time by myself and I do this every day and I thoroughly enjoy it. And the thought of hanging out with other people, like I just don't have the desire to. Granted, I don't have people to reach out to, to hang out with, but it's okay. I could if I wanted to. And that's just not the phase of life I'm at right now. And I keep getting like Snapchat flashbacks from like a year ago, two years ago. And this year, like, those three years, how drastically different each year has been. Like, two years ago, I was in a relationship. I was physically in a different body. I had different, like, outlooks on life and what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to go to Point Loma. I wanted to, like, go to the four-year college. I wanted to party. I had this boyfriend. I was surfing, like, so much all this stuff and I thought I knew what I wanted from life and I was like I'm just gonna go to this like and do what you're like supposed to do and stuff and then last year 
I was in full-on anorexia recovery, trying to get my shit together so I could go to this college that I thought I wanted to go to. And I still was in this, like, mindset, like, I just need to be as social as possible. I need to be, like, a new person. I had just gotten cheated on, so I, like, was trying to, like, have this, like, post-relationship, like, glow up and, like, all this stuff. But still, like, and just go to this college. And I, it's just, like, the whole college thing trips me out, especially because they're, like, going back soon. So now I'm, like, oh, my gosh, that could have been me. But it's not. And this year, I'm, like, running, like, my own business. I have my own, like, social media platform. I'm making, like, more money through Depop and this fun thing that I literally feel like is, like, a little, like, fashion, like, simulation, like, video game that I get to play every day. I'm making more money than that than I was at, like, a working full-time. Like, it's just so surreal to me, like, how I never, two years ago would have thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now like as far as like mentally healing going go is going and like income wise and with like art and stuff it's like it's so crazy like I would never think but I'm so content and I'm so satisfied with it right now and for me to be able to say that I'm content and satisfied with my life I like like three months ago I couldn't have said that and now, like, I'm, like, there's, like, there's a light, which is so cool to see. But, yeah, three months ago, I was, like, what, that was, like, probably, like, around April-ish, April-May. I was, like, having anxiety attacks every day and, like, crying and just in this hole of, like, darkness. And granted, time is going by really fast, which freaks me out, but... It's cool because I look back at those times and yeah, it wasn't that long ago and it doesn't feel that long ago, but the like steps forward I've taken since. Really night and day difference. So I'm going to go thrift. Is that like a tan line? Oh, that's a light. I was like, oh shit. I'm going to go thrift and do some retail therapy, but that's my little rant. And just know it gets better. And it's not like good 100% of the time. Like this is definitely a high day, but like I definitely saw my lows, but it gets better. I'm just going to put... Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm going to just change the display. Not just me, but the way... Look at everything you Denim freaking hit today. Oh my god. Denim today? Like, like... Oh my god. Sorry, I like... I need to stop recording. While I'm like driving, I'm pretty down there. Um, this is such a no, 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 no. I'm flattering. Okay, so usually, like, I never find good jeans, but I found a lot, a lot, a lot of good jeans. I was so excited, but I'm kind of worried because denim like sells on Depop, but doesn't at the same time. Like, I feel like I definitely push out more, like, of, like, pants or, like, kind of, like, lounge pants than, are like, than, like, denim, which is good, but I just bought a bunch of denim, so if you're seeing this, go buy it off my Depop, um, but it was really good. I haven't, like, gone, like, thrifting, like, solo in like a couple weeks i've gone with like my sister like my mom and i forgot how much i love doing it by myself no offense to everyone else but it just like i don't know i kind of go to like this like this like zoned out state and it's just like i don't know you don't feel rushed either i like to look i look through every single piece of clothing that's like the best thing you can do and um it just like really is nice to not have someone like uh, pressing you for time in a way i don't know but i think i'm gonna go to another one just because i'm feeling it but i do have to pee so i don't know i'll see how i'm feeling in like five minutes probably though but yeah i need to go to the post office i have so many things to ship and like i walk to my post office it's like a mile from my house which it takes like 15 minutes but um I have like 
a lot of like heavy orders and I'm scared that my bag strap is gonna snap. But if it does, that will be a funny thing for the video. Um, what else can I talk about? It's funny because it's gonna be really cold in my house, which is only like, it's because I'm like so on the coast that it's gonna be freezing. Location number two, and as you can see, outside i told you it would be foggy and cold it's like it's, it says in my car it's like a 10 degree temperature difference which i drove five minutes so yeah so that went good that's the second haul and then the first one's there um yeah it's so foggy literally so much good day even film a haul in public if you walk by I'd be so embarrassed. Okay, anywho, it's my haul from a really weird angle. This is like a maxi dress, like denim. Um, it's like button up. Some baby overalls, cause I can't pass up these ones. And then these ones have like a flower. Cute, cute. Um, these green like sweats. Look how cool these are. They're like um low rise like blue cords. They're like blue cut. These shorts. This pretty white knit. This has like cats in love with wine glasses. I love that for me. Um, this button up, so gingham. This pink shirt, and it has a recipe for a love potion. And it says half cup of affection, a pinch of cuddles, three teaspoons of sweetness, and a great big kiss. And it has little sparklies on it. Um, this is like a wool, like California State Park, so like v neck, really cool. Little like Morro Bay flower tourist shirt. This like Mickey Mouse shirt. The tag looked kind of vintage, but I don't think it is. But it's okay. It's a cool material. Um, I don't, I don't know. But this shirt, this is like a cutout. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, Betty Boop pajama pants. This is from like a Philippines like tourist shirt. It's really cool, like chaps, um, men's sweater. Um, these are vintage like Gap jeans, but I'm really hoping these fit me because they're like the perfect wash. They say size four, but I don't know. So those are really cool. And then I got another pair too that are in a size eight. So yeah, they're like identical, which is cool. This pretty blouse, this cool like boat neck sweater. Um, this really cool button up. These pants. I'm like plaid. I'm so excited about this one. It's like a knit cardigan, but it actually has buttons, which is cool here. So I'm excited to wear that. This shirt, and it says like performance, like bedazzled in it. Um, this shirt, it says like feeling lucky. This really cool sweater situation um this pretty blouse these shorts this is like a pajama set but it has like new tags and it gets really cold here in the winter and it's my size so there's that um christmas denim jacket 
pretty white slip top. This really cool embroidered USC shirt. Um, this pretty yellow camisole. Oh my gosh, this. Like what? Um, this is like a jumpsuit romper. Like Wide-legged. This has like Kelly's candies, just a crew neck. Um, Virginia Cavaliers crew neck. This is actually brandy, but it's like a brand new brandy, like wrap dress. Really like, I used to have one, but then I broke it, but that's exciting. I liked the material of this. It's like a brown boat neck situation. This freaking sick polo, like shirt. Um, this one is like from Sydney, Australia or something. I don't know, it has like beer on it. Um, these citizens of humanity, low rise boot cuts. Um, this is like hooded and it says goddess in it, but it's sparkly and it's like, I don't know. Um, these are brandy. It's like the flare cut ones, kind of cropped. Um, these really cool vintage lead dark wash. Freaking vintage Calvin Klein jeans, which I hope fit me as well because I really like the cut of these. And then some vintage Wranglers and another SC shirt. That's my haul. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'm embarrassed now. Yeah. But I need to wash this all. So I'll be doing that. Alright. I'm taking it to the post office. Um, and to be honest. I'm not going to wear shoes. Because I don't feel like it. But also. This is the crew neck sweatshirt. For my family's motel. That will be opening hopefully in September. It's called the Pacific. Um at the Pacific Motel on Instagram. If you wanna um, follow that, I have like stuff on my Instagram about it. But that's really exciting, but they have crew necks and they're really cozy. They changed cause I felt gross and sticky. And now I'm going to listen to probably a podcast and take a walk while my stuff washes and it's really foggy so i'm thinking i can get all my depop pictures done today instead of tomorrow because i don't have the obligation to go tan so i'll let you know how that goes goodbye come here where are you where are you come here come here vlog um it is assuming like 6 30 i woke up way too early and went down to the beach because i woke up like having like a hot flash so perks of going like hyper metabolic in the middle of the night but yeah, now I'm gonna make matcha. Start my day. I did not vlog a lot um, yesterday because it was just foggy and I just did like schoolwork and nothing else. But I need to do all my Depop pictures today. And yeah, so good morning. Oh, and to clarify, what I mean by hypermetabolic is that because like my body like for like a year ago was deprived of food for so long. Like now when I eat any kind of big meal, um, because it's like my body's working so hard to digest it, it like gives like speed mode. So it's like, I'm like basically doing like a big workout, but with my digestive system, which is not a good thing, but that's kind of how I know like 
I like nourish my body as if that happens, which just sounds weird to say, but just fun things for me. Um, my matcha is really good. I'm heating it up, but I just made a really good cup and I need to answer some emails and do Depop stuff like I do every morning, but it's so fun. It's like, um, I used to have this game like fashion story or something. It's like this app you run your own like fashion store. And this reminds me of it. Like I do like my silly little like emails and like Depop stuff in the morning on the app. And then I take my silly little pictures in my clothes, like a little fashion show for myself. And then um, do a little post and drink my smoothie while I post it. And I go shopping. Like what? It's so cool. Anyhow, I'm gonna drink my fire matcha and do that. It's literally 6 30, but I'm just productive today. Like 50 plus pictures to take, so that'll be good too. I just made almond milk and I'm gonna like strain it now, but. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. I walked to the post office. I spent like four hours doing Depop stuff. Um, I shipped out like five things. And now I'm straining my almond milk. But I just do almonds and I soak them in hot water for like three hours. I do a couple almonds. And then I do like a liter of water to the almonds and I blend them. For a minute and then I do two dates in pink Himalayan sea salt and then I blend for another minute and I take it and open this this time. You can see but I have like a towel, like a dishcloth. I literally pour it and then it like strains out into the jar the cloth and then you don't get any of the almond pulp in it so that is how i make my almond milk where are we going <laughs> going to the good robin's vlog cooker is stoked stoked what's the next one she put on her blinker too on her feet in advance, guys. Can you get your blinker on? Treacherous. Ella, I think I I literally got like three pairs of Brandy Melville jeans and I just like I was like, watch, watch, watch. Hi vlog. Um it's the next day. And I washed all my stuff and I'm gonna show you, but it's a really big amount, so I'm gonna do it in sections. But I'm gonna start out with shirts and tops. This is not okay. Ugh. Okay, um, also I'm in my pajamas still, but that's okay. Um, I'm at this Cool Cat Cafe, which is this like restaurant in my town. Sweatshirt. This says I'm not a morning person, except for on December 25th, so. That's a fine crew neck. This really pretty tie-dye tank top. This super cool vintage vest that ties in the back. Um, this life is good like muscle tank. This chaps like men's thing with the elbow pads on it. This Zara um, like collared tank top. This little surfboard. Big top. Um, this V neck, like blue lacy top. Oh, someone's realization car bag. I don't know. Funny. Um, this top with flowers on it. This like funky vest with like a built in shirt and shoulder pads. Um, this billabong, like old shirt. This really cute, like tie top. Um, this like denim zip up hoodie. This cute crew neck, and it says on the back, "Give yourself the space to keep growing." 
It says it on the sleeves too. Um, this urban tank top. This really pretty floral blouse. This sweater vest. This cute tank top. This vintage OP white like collared beach shirt. This is a little kid's dress and it has all these cute like cats and bunnies and dogs on it. I'm gonna cut it into a baby tee. Um, this cool Hawaii top. This big shirt that says preserve Cali wildlife. Um, this like unicorn something shirt, it's with ambition. This vintage tank. There's a big dog shirt that says the secret to happiness is low expectations, which I think is a great motto. Um, this cute like wrap top, this Wrangler, Wrangler button down denim shirt, this freaking sick hoodie, it's like so cool. This super old school Abercrombie top, um, a Land's End sweater. This pretty sun and moon, like mandala style top. Um, this tank top with beads on the bottom. This little tank. This um, like bedazzled smet like hoodie with race car. This little panda shirt. Um, this really cool top. It's like a crossover top. This top. This Harvard hoodie. This vest. This old school O'Neill top. Like that. <laughs> this old Billabong jacket. This life is good. Um, we are all one shirt. This cute little striped top. This really cool suede jacket. This Astro World hoodie. It has the like, wish you were here on the back. Um, this cutie little sun top. Um, this like cool sweater. I like the sleeves. This crazy cool vintage jacket that looks like that and that. This pile is growing. This sweater vest. Um, this like velvet jacket sweater thingy. Um, this velvet tank. I really was feeling the velvet yesterday. This velvet jacket. Um. This sweater, I like the sleeves. Um, this pretty like sheer top. This really eighties sweater. Um, this cool like this is the back, but this cool like crochet situation. And this Coca Cola sweater, and that's it for the tops. Okay, now I'm doing like dresses and overalls stuff so these overall shorts oh my gosh these are humongous but these massive overalls um this cool like 60s dress vintage velvet velvet situation this really really sweet like urban open back one um this little like slip nightgown top this one i love the yellow on this one um this blue one this navy slip um red and black slip and this purple slip so pretty and then this like 
um, buttons in the back like that with this beautiful maxi dress. Yeah, so that's dresses. Like other accessories, but this corset top, it's like vel velvet. Um, this is just like a, another like tapestry. It has um like geckos on it, and then this one. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it has dolphins all over it. And I thought it was really cool. It's literally a piece of fabric, so we'll see where this takes me in life. Um, this like tank top. Um, this really cute bralette. This bikini top. I love and then this cool like old sparkly one that okay this like mesh mini skirt um these white like cargo pants these lee shorts this pile is progressively like gonna tip over these really cool beach pants Um, these are like low rise, double button, cute flares, 501 shorts, um, these gap, like, business pants that kind of flare, um, these seven for mankind jorts, um, some Vicky scrubs, which I like to wear as lounge pants. Um, these velvet, again, pink sweat track pants. Um, these old Victoria's Secret sweats. Um, these like baby wrestlers, but I'm thinking they'll fit me, and if not, if they're too short, I'll cut them into shorts. And the star of the show, these dickies that are army green with side pockets. And that's my whole, um, I need to try it all on and stuff. But everything that I am not keeping is on the Depop, which will be listed down below. Follow me on there and buy my stuff because I do two-day shipping and it's all really fun. And same with the stuff from the haul on Tuesday is, our, is posted. So this will all be posted by the time this video comes out and like and subscribe and yeah bye bye